We present a method that combines event cameras and standard cameras to track visual features with low latency. Our method extracts features on grayscale frames and tracks them asynchronously in the blind time between frames using the events. Our method achieves this by leveraging the low latency of the events to track features during high-speed motion where frame-based methods fail due to motion blur. Thanks to the high dynamic range of the events, our method is able to track features in challenging illumination conditions and even in changing and low light conditions such as when the light is turned off and on again. Event cameras work by responding to intensity changes in the scene called events with microsecond resolution. Conversely, standard frames provide direct intensity measurements but with much higher latency. We take advantage of this complementarity and combine both sensors to perform feature tracking with low latency. Our method works by extracting features on the initial frame, which we track over time using the events. At any given time, we consider a local spatial temporal neighborhood of events around a feature, which we aggregate into a measured brightness increment patch. To generate a prediction of this patch, we approximate the local brightness increment with the temporal derivative of the image. Using the brightness constancy equation, we derive an expression for the predicted brightness increment in terms of image gradients and the local optic flow. This means that, considering the initial frame, we can compute its gradients and multiply it with a suitable optic flow to derive a prediction of the brightness increment which we can register onto the incoming events. In summary, our method tries to predict local brightness increments from events using frame gradients and optic flow. We introduce a likelihood function which says how events are explained given the feature parameters, optic flow, and image intensities. This model is based on a Gaussian distribution. At each time step, we find the new registration parameters P and optic flow V by jointly maximizing this likelihood, which we use to continuously track features. We compare our method against several state-of-the-art algorithms in event and frame-based feature tracking, and on the same datasets. Our tracks, here visualized in green, are more accurate than the state-of-the-art, achieving subpixel accuracy on almost all tested datasets with respect to ground truth. Our results suggest that our method is robust in a variety of scenes, including challenging natural scenes with occlusions, viewpoint changes, and noisy events due to low contrast. Our method was originally designed to use regular frames which may be subject to motion blur and over and under exposure. However, we now show that our method can also work with images reconstructed from events, overcoming the limitations of frame-based sensors. Tracks initialized on regular frames are longer than those initialized on state-of-the-art event-based reconstructions, but perform equally well in terms of accuracy. This work opens the door to several challenging applications. These include high dynamic range and high speed scenarios in automotive and aerial navigation.